Hello and welcome to DTWG the prep welcome. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be solving compound inequalities. Okay, um, you do see at least a question on compound inequality. So you don't don't be scared when you see inequality questions like this. No, no, don't be scared. Okay, I'm going to break it down for you in this video. All right, so don't be scared. You know, I, I didn't want to do this, but I've seen a practice question on the GED practice, you know, test that, you know, some students, which I tutor sent, okay, to me to help them solve. Okay, I've seen this, so it's important. I wanted to skip it, I didn't want to treat it. I was like, oh, it's too hard, but I've seen this in your GED test. You can have a question like this. So I'm going to break down how you would solve it in this video. All right, please, before we get onto the video, please, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. Okay, you can check our uh, website, dtwgedprep.com for several summary notes, study guides, practice questions. You know, you need your GED math formula sheet. It's there. All right, you can also join our Facebook group, over 22,000 members in the community. Join to ask questions about the GED in your state, be it, you know, in um, Florida, in Arizona, New York, in whichever country you are in, Thailand, you know, um, uh, in, in Yagon, um, I hope I pronounced that well. In whichever country you are in, you can ask about um, the GED on the group and you will have a lovely community to support you. Also, if you need one-on-one -on -one tutoring, I can tutor you. I tutor one on one, okay? Uh, maths, RLA, social studies, and sciences. You can contact me for that. All right, so now let's get on to the video. Okay, I advise before you watch this video, kindly watch the one before this, okay? It's um, the one before this, just on solving inequalities, okay? So you can get properly well what I've done here. All right, so now. Uh, Compound inequality is just formed by combining two separate inequalities, okay? That's why I said you need to learn uh, just one inequality first before you come to compound, which is combining two inequalities. So to solve a compound inequality, you should first address each inequality individually, find the solutions, then merge the solutions at the end. That's what we're going to do here. All right, so here now we have uh, solved the compound inequality, this. So what you do is, so we have 15 greater than, this is greater than 3 in parentheses, 2p minus 1 greater than 9. So you would separate them into two. Take this as 1 and take these two as 1. Just see what I'm, I would do. So you have 15 less than 3, 2p minus 1, then 3 it's like you are dividing this middle one to 15 and to nine. That's what, that's what, let me, um, the lame, uh, let me say a better way to explain it. Okay. So you have this. So 15 to this, the middle one, then also the middle one to what nine. Okay. So your, your middle, okay, goes to your left. Also your middle goes to your right. So we solve this, we solve this, then we combine them together. So let's now solve this. So we have 15 greater than, open this parenthesis, we have 6p minus 3, okay? Leave the p here, take minus 3. So that's the trick with compound inequality. Don't take the p here, leave the p here, okay? Take minus 3 here. So we have 15, taking minus 3, it gives us what? A positive 3, greater than 6p. So 15 plus 3, that's 18, greater than 6p, okay? So divide, to get p, we divide both sides by 6. This cancels, 18 divided by six is three. So that's three greater than P. So leave this here. Now let's solve this. Open the parentheses here. Three times is that six P, three times minus one, that's minus three, greater than nine. All right, take minus three here. Leave all the variables in the middle. Just like the way, you know, just leave the variables in the middle. Okay, so now, we have uh, taking three here, negative three here. It becomes what? Nine plus three. So here we now have six P 
greater than 12. 9 plus 3 is 12. Divide by 6. Divide by 6. So here P is greater than 6 divided by, by 12 is 2. This cancels out. Okay? So now, we have P is... this. What this expression means is P is less than 3. And what this expression means is P is greater than 2. So we have to now combine them as 1. So we put P in the middle. Okay, P would be in the middle. Then look at, start with the lowest numbers between your answers. All right, so two is the lowest. So here, P is what greater than two. That's what this statement means. P is greater than two. So we have to um, put the right symbol for it. Okay, since P is greater than two, it means that two is less than P. So we do a symbol like this. Okay, remember inequalities, the the number at the pointy end is the one which is less than. Okay, I have taught this in the first video, which I said the introduction to inequalities. Please do watch that. The number that points, that has, that is on this pointed end, this sharp end, is the lesser number, which is the same as this. So P is less than two. It also means P is less than two. Standing here, interpreting it from here, is P less than two. Is also means from here also standing here interpreted from this way is p less than two but you know we are trying to combine and we have to start with the lower number okay so we do we keep p here so p is less than two now to interpret this this is p okay no this is p sorry this is p greater than two do you see that oh I apologize. I've been saying less than. This is P greater than 2. So in here also, this is P greater than 2. And this is 2 less than P. Also here, this is 2 less than P. Okay? So this has symbolized here P. This has interpreted here P greater than 2. All right? Follow me. Now here, this is P less than 3. Okay? So because... P is on this pointed end. So it means this is the lesser value. So this is P less than 3. So how do we interpret it here? Because we have to combine. To combine, we have to still put that P has to still point to what the, the arrow, the sign of the inequality has to still point to P because, you know, P is less than here. So this will be P less than 3. Do you see that? So we have combined these two solutions as one. So this is the compound solution all right so we have a compound solution to this stay with me why we do more examples that's why there are four examples here now number two says here six we have six less than or equal to two in parentheses a plus five and less than or equal to 20. as i said the middle goes to the right the left the middle goes to the right so we have six greater than less than or equal to two I think I should take this slowly. Let me relax and take this slowly and speak slowly. So we have a plus five, then two in parentheses a plus five less than or equal to 20. Okay, so now we have to solve. As I said, let the variables stay here, stay in the middle. So we have six less than or equal to open the parentheses we have 2a 2 times 5 is what 10 so plus 10. let's solve this first before we go here so taking positive 10 here it becomes 6 minus 10 less than or equal to 2a 6 minus 10 is a negative 4 less than or equal to 2a to get a we divide by 2 divide by 2. this cancels 4 divided by negative 4 divided by 2 will give us a negative 2. So less than or equal to a. So this is our first solution. Let us solve this. So 2 times a is a 2a. 2 times 5, that's a positive 10, less than or equal to 20. Take 10 here. So we have 2a less than or equal to 20. Taking positive becomes negative 10. So we have 2a is less than or equal to 20 minus 10 is 10. To get 2, we divide by 2, divide by 2. So A is what? Less than or equal to 5. Do you see that? So now 
we have to combine. So we put A in the middle, start with the lower number. The lower number is negative 2. And this says, so this point means that this is less than A. So this expression means A is greater than negative 2. So we can leave this, okay? Leave this as A is greater than or equal to negative 2. So this is correct as it points to this. Now, let's see this. Okay, so this also means since this points to A, it means A is less than 5. All right, so we can just simply put this. Okay, we don't need to start manipulating. This is quite easy. This is straightforward. So A is less than 5. So it's all about interpretation to combine. Since A is in the middle, so you before adding and combining these two solutions, okay, you add them in, in respect to A. All right how it relates to a how this number relates to a that is how you're going to put these two inequality that is what we did here how the numbers related to p here you can see that p is uh greater than two so that's why we had p greater than two and also here p is less than three that's why we have p less than three okay so that is how we solve this. Let us do the, uh, the last two. Let me clear this. Okay. So number three says, find the solution to this. So we have negative six less than or equal to two in parentheses, y plus three less than eight. Okay. Uh, so as I said, the middle goes to your left. The middle goes to your right. Okay, you share them that way. So you have negative 6 less than or equal to 2 in parentheses y plus 3. Then 2 in parentheses y plus 3 less than 8. Okay, do you see this? So let us solve now. We have negative 6 less than or equal to, open the parentheses, we have 2y plus 2 times 3, that's 6. Okay, take 6 to the other side. It becomes negative 6. But bringing positive 6, it becomes negative 6, less than or equal to 2y. Negative 6, negative 6 gives us a negative 12, less than or equal to 2y. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So this gives us a negative 6. Okay? Negative 12 divided by negative 8, so 2 gives us a negative 6, less than or equal to. This cancels out. We have y. So y is what? Greater than negative 6. That's what this means interpreting from here all right and if you stand here interpreting it means negative six less than y all right now let's go here to solve this solution okay that is what compound inequality is about separate them solve them individually then bring the solutions together so here we open the parentheses we have two y that's two times y then two times three that's positive six less than or equal to eight take 6 here, we have 2y less than 8, taking positive 6 becomes negative 6. So that's 2y less than 6, uh, 8 minus 6, that's 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, we have y is less than or equal to 1. Okay, so to combine, we put y in the middle, we start with the lesser answer. All right, the lesser answer here is a negative 6. And what how does y relate to this negative 6? It says y is what? Greater than. All right. Y here is interpreting it from here. Y is greater than negative 6. And interpreting from here is what? Y, um, negative 6 is less than y. So you put this. Negative 6 is less than y. And from here, it means what? Y is what? Less than 1. So we can still put it here, y is less than 1. So this is our final answer. Now let's solve for the final question. We have negative 7y, okay, uh, greater than negative 2y plus 15, less than 10. As we said, the middle goes to the left, the middle goes to the right. So we have negative 7y, greater than negative 2 in parentheses y plus 15 and negative 2 in parentheses y plus 15 
less than 10. So let's solve this first, then we'll solve this. Okay? So here we have uh, open the parentheses. We have negative 7y greater than negative 2 times this. That's a negative 2y. Then we have uh, negative 2 times positive 15 will give us a negative 30. Okay, don't forget to multiply the signs. So here uh, I can do I can do this, take, because I want to bring y in, take negative 30, bring this negative 7 in. Taking negative 30 becomes a positive, okay? Becomes a positive 30. Then I have this negative y. Taking this here, it becomes a positive, becomes a positive 7y, okay? Because everything has to be, y's have to be in the middle, all right? So we have 30 greater than this negative 2y positive 5y, uh, 7y is a 5y, positive 5y. So we divide by 5, divide by 5. So we have 6 greater than y, okay? This cancels out. Now here we have, opening the parentheses, we have negative 2, all right? Uh, 2y negative 10 less than 10, okay? So we have negative 2y less than, taking a negative 10 here becomes a positive. So we have 10 plus 10. So we have negative 2y less than, 10 plus 10 is a 20. We are dividing now by a negative. Remember, when we divide by a negative, what happens? Our sign changes, okay? We're dividing by a negative to our sign changes to the opposite side. You have to also apply this rule. Anywhere in inequality, when you are dividing by a negative number or multiplying by a negative number, both sides, your sign will change. So this cancels out. We have y and, uh, oh, this is 15. Sorry, this is a mistake here. 15, so this should be 30. Okay, bringing it here, it should be 30. So this should be 40. All right, so 40 divided by negative 2, that will give us a negative 20. So we have y greater than negative 20. So we now have to combine. We start with the, the, the lower answer, okay, which is a negative. So this is y greater than negative 20. Is that not it? This is y greater than negative 20. And what would that give us? That would give us this, okay? y greater than negative 20, in um, interpreting it here, it would be this, okay? y greater than negative 20, all right? And here, this is uh, y less than 6, which is 6 is greater than y, okay? So we have our answer this way, okay? 6 is what's greater than y. So y is less than 6. So we have this as our answer all right so we have this as our final answer so thank you thank you for staying to the end of this video i appreciate your patience okay i truly truly appreciate your patience if you want me to do more of this video okay you want me to you know have you know solve more of um, compound inequalities let me know and if you have seen it in your test your practice test let me know in the in, in the in the video description box of this video. If you have come across this in your practice test or in your main test, let me know also. All right, so thank you, thank you. And don't forget to please give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. And also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check our website for summary notes, dtwgdprep.com, okay? For several summary notes, social studies, your you know sciences, your study guides and all, Okay, and you can join our Facebook group. You can contact me for one-on-one -on -one tutoring. I would leave my um, details in the video description box of this video. Finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last and give us peace here on earth. Okay, among every challenges, every battles we are going through in our finance, our marriage, our families, with our children, Jesus can give us victory. Will give us victory in those challenges. So please, 
give it all to him and he will take control he will take over those wheels you know he will take it over and give you peace give you joy give you love and most importantly lead us to heaven at last at last because there is life after death so please all that you can ever think of is in christ jesus and he would give it to us as far as we just accept him as our lord and personal savior all right thank you and i wish you success in your gd test and also success in life you are destined to it thank you and see you in our next video